Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another wedding dress reveal. I've got a package in and I don't know if it's one gown or three gowns so I thought we could check it out together and see what we find. This is the package here. Whoa, it's massive. So let's open it and have a look. There are two gowns in this pack, one very, very large one and one small one. Um, so I'm just going to wash my hands quickly and then we can pop them open. Okay, I'm back and ready to open the first parcel. We're going to open the smaller one first, which is this one. If you've watched my other reveal videos, you'll know that all my gowns come inside out. Oh, the lace is so pretty. So I'll just turn this one inside out so we can see. So this one is a lace gown with sleeves. Oh, it's so exquisite. And what you will see is there's an illusion neckline here. This is beautiful. So this has an illusion neckline at the front. We are doing um, the real sort of organic uh, branches and leaves going all over it. We've also added some extra organza flowers over the top of the lace to give it that 3D element. Absolutely beautiful. And then the back basically is an open keyhole back. There's a closure right at the top here with a button and this is all sheer along the back and then um, there's covered buttons with loops and an invisible zipper. Just stunning. Let's have a good look. These organza flowers are so pretty. They're just tiny. They're not big and gaudy. I don't know if you can see the hem from there, but basically... Um, the hem sort of stops quite suddenly down the bottom. So, um, and I know from talking to the client that she wanted it to be a little bit more gradual um, and look like it's kind of growing from the bottom. So because of that, I might have to redo this hem. Um, and there's a couple of tricky ways that we can do it without recutting the whole dress. So we can cut into the lace and overlay chul. Um, and this would be invisible, obviously, so you won't see it. And then we can sort of uh, maybe manipulate the lace a little bit more so that it actually has this gradual effect. But I think she will be really happy with this. Uh, I'll need to work on this neckline as well because it's just not gradual enough for me. Um, I did order some extra... I ordered some extra lace for her and some extra organza flowers. So um, I can definitely add them onto her neckline, which I think will make it a, um, a little bit more organic. But I'll probably do that at her fitting so that uh, I can see it on her to see what actually needs to be done. Okay, now for dress number two. Wow, the lace is really beautiful. Um, this is a basically a white and silver lace um, that is quite popular in my studio. Uh, it just gives that extra element um, and sort of does the work of beading a little bit without having a fully beaded bodice. So let's have a look at this dress. It has a massive train and it also has a matching veil. So I'll show you that as well. Wow, so this is a full A-line style, A-line silhouette. We've got the lace all across the bodice, bleeding up to the top. You'll see here that this is made of a nude tulle um, up the top here on the bodice. Now, 
it does look funny on the hanger when it's in this nude shawl but when it is put on a body this nude shawl pretty much disappears so um she basically wanted that sheer look with uh the lace sort of over her sleeves and on top of the bodice so there's also a really full um chul skirt and there's also a matching trim which you might be able to see which is just gorgeous love the matching trim they did a great job at that matching trim and the back is basically covered buttons around the center uh, all the way down there's an invisible zipper as well and there's also beading, very light beading on top of um, the lace of this gown. The train is, you won't be able to see it from this tiny shot, but it's about a metre or a metre and a half train. And if I pick it up, kind of, whew, see it at the bottom. There's masses and masses and masses of fabric. The matching veil um, is in the same matching lace that we trim around the edge of the veil. And this is an epic veil because she wanted it to match the dress and just go a little bit outside of the dress. Um, I don't have a comb, so I'll have to attach a comb when she actually wears it. And it'll be something a little bit like this, which will be stunning. There's the lace. And that's all been hand sewn, um, that lace on that veil, which is very exquisite. Well, that is the two gowns that I received in today. I think they look absolutely beautiful and pretty much to spec of what the clients were wanting, but a few tiny little things that I'm sure I can tweak at their fitting. I hope you enjoyed these two gown reveals. I know that the clients are gonna be pretty ecstatic at seeing these, um, and I cannot wait to see the looks on their faces. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time.